Hey everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and this is just a real quick Tutorial Tuesday. I recently uploaded a video that had this scene in it, and it's nothing special. It's just me walking through Magic Mountain, talking about the bathroom behind me and how it's super clean. The problem is, the park was playing music at the time, really loud music that YouTube detects and tries to either block all audio from my video or issue a copyright strike. And normally how I get around this and how I got around in my video is by putting royalty free music in the background, which kind of jumbles the audio a little bit and tricks the algorithm. But I may have found a better way. To do this, first we're gonna open up Adobe Audition. And we're going to load the video clip into Audition so that we can view uh, the audio of this particular video. Now you don't have to use Audition, you can use any audio software that allows you to open a video and extract the audio track from that video because we just basically want to turn this into an MP3. Just for reference, here's what the audio normally sounds like. Very odd. Um, much appreciated, but very odd. Uh, two, it now holds the record as the nicest bathroom in the park. So, that is... Uh, now, I don't have anything against Huey Lewis and the News or this song in particular. I just don't want YouTube flagging it and causing problems for me. So we're going to, again, turn this into an MP3 just because I need a small file size for this demonstration. You can use Waves, uh, but I'm going to go and do an MP3. And I'm going to set it to the highest possible bitrate that I can, which is 320, and give it a name, and then just uh, save it to my desktop, basically. Once that's saved, I'm going to head over here to Melody.ml, which is a website that actually take audio tracks and separate the different parts of those tracks, so drums from bass, from guitar, etc. It'll process for a little bit, and then it'll give you a little download button, and you can just download the zip file, which will give you different uh, audio tracks, one for each type of audio signal that it found within your audio file. So in this case, it says drums, bass, vocals, and other. Uh, so we're going to go and extract this. Then I'll open it in Audacity just because it's a really simple, quick program. It's great for stuff like this. And this first track, which is just the bass track, just seems to be a bunch of like random bass frequency noises that I picked up, which isn't useful to us at all, so we'll just delete that. And I think what we're left with is a song on the top and my talking on the bottom. Yeah, this is, this is what the song sounds like in the background behind my voice. Uh, obviously, it's missing the bass frequencies because we cut those out um, already. But uh, that's basically the song just in the background playing, cutting through between the things that I said. Which is really interesting, uh, but I want to see what it actually sounds like uh, without the song. So I want to play the other track, which is just my voice. Interesting, that's still part of the song in the beginning. So, two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop, is the only men's room in the entire park that has dividers between the urinals. That's already so much cleaner. Very odd. Um, much appreciated, but very odd. Uh, two, it now holds the record as the nicest bathroom in the park. So, that is, uh, that's the new king of bathrooms. The king of the crappers. So as you can hear, it's not perfect. There's still little tiny bits and pieces of the song poking through around my voice. But I think it's enough to fool YouTube. Now in Adobe Premiere, we're just going to drag both files in here. This original video file with the new audio vocal file right below it. As you can see, they automatically line up perfectly. You don't got to do any kind of synchronization. I'm just going to cut off the beginning part here that just has that weird uh, like leftover part of the song. Because we're not going to use that audio anyway. So I'll just delete both of those. And uh, let's see what we have here if we just uh, play the new audio. Let's see what this, what this looks like. So, two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop. So, OBS is stopping Premiere from showing it, like, synced up, which is weird. But anyway, uh, let's listen to the original audio again, see how that looks. Two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop, is the only men's room in the entire park that has dividers between the urinals. Very odd. So, now let's add a royalty-free track to the background. So, two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop, is the only men's room in the entire park that has dividers between the urinals. Much better. Even though the vocal is still kind of coming through in the background, now it sounds like it's part of the royalty-free music. So let's see what it would sound like with royalty-free music and the old version of the audio. So, two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop, is the only men's room in the entire park that has dividers between the urinals. Very odd. Um, much appreciated, but very odd. Uh, two, it now holds the record as the nicest bathroom in the park. So, that is, uh, that's the new king of bathrooms. The king of the crappers.
So, two thoughts. One, the restroom right behind me, the uh, pit stop, is the only men's room in the entire park that has dividers between the urinals. Very odd. Um, much appreciated, but very odd. Uh, two, it now holds the record as the nicest bathroom in the park. So, that is, uh, that's the new king of bathrooms. The king of the crappers. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching.